Hello everyone, I'm James. Welcome back to Internet Nobodies. It's been many months, honestly, since we <laughs> since we've really done anything on here. Uh, to preface this video a little bit, uh, this is my PlayStation Vita. I did a video on it five years ago. I had to look that up. It's been five years. I've been off and on with it a little bit, but I've been really on with it lately. I've been playing a lot of games on it. I actually modded it. I, I'll do a video on that soon. I, but with that, I've noticed that the battery life has diminished severely. So that is what this is. I got a new battery for it. I'm going to install it. I've already opened this. So here's the battery. It says it's a laptop battery, but this should work. This is what was verified on Amazon. Uh, it comes with tools, which, yeah, it's got everything. It's got a little, can't see really. It's got a little flat head and a little Phillips head and everything. A couple of Torx bits. So I am just going to go at it and see what happens. So, yeah, it even says laptop battery. So I'm going to get the Vita ready. That's what I'm going to do. Come on. Ooh. Don't mind me just playing some uh, Super Mario RPG. It's just save state. Close out a retro arc. Power off. Oh, hello. I didn't realize you could see me. Hi. All right. I think that's off. Uh, I don't think I have to do this. Where the fuck? There it is. I don't think I have to do this, but I'm going to anyways. I'm going to pull out... There we go. Pull out the memory card. 32 gigs, so this costs like 20 grand. And then... The game card. Which is a micro SD card adapter. Shh, don't tell Sony. This whole thing was like 25 bucks. This whole thing, I don't even know how much I spent on it. It was at least like 60 bucks. Sony's proprietary nonsense was really dumb. Okay, just looking to see where all the screws are. There's none here. There's one, two, three, four. None on top. Unless... Ah, there's two, there's two here. And then there's two here on the bottom. So that's eight screws, unless I'm missing any. I don't believe I am. Okay, set that battery a little bit there. Drink some water. All right. So let's see what we got in here. Okay, I don't remember exactly what these are called. They're called like spudgers or something. Got a thick one and a thin one. Don't know if I'll even need those. Got a suction cup here, which I actually might need. This one's flathead. This one is like a security, security head. This one is a smaller security head, it looks like. And this one is Phillips. These are itty bitty. These will these will be good for other projects too. And then a couple of like prying tools. I don't think I'll need those either. All right. Hold on, I can't even see that. Got my overkill flashlight here. Phillips. These are all Phillips head. Which one is Phillips? Yellow. Perfect fit. Oop, it's not even the camera. Oop. Oop, it was a perfect fit. There we go. Ooh, that's that's a little tight in there. Come on. Uh oh. Come on. I know you're looking at my hairy ass arms on my scratches. 
<gasps> oh no. Oh, there it is. Thank God. It's right here. There we go. Almost lost the thing. That's so tiny. I haven't really done anything like this in a while. So it's a little unfamiliar. Actually, something I just got. I just got these uh, magnetic screw bowls. I actually haven't. Ooh, like dust mode. I actually haven't had any of these. So, uh, yeah. Got a few of these. So we'll make stuff like this easier. Same goes for uh, working on my PC if I ever actually get to it. Okay, let's just get the rest of these out real quick. This should be magnetic. For screws this small, this should, should be magnetic. I'm not going to worry about getting all the screws out yet until I'm ready. I just, there we go. Just wasn't lining it up right. These screws are fucking tight. Like, I'm thoroughly surprised. That being said, these have been in here for at least six years. Oh, I guess I didn't actually finish saying that. Uh, I've had this for over five years at this point, which it's insane to think about. We've been working on TGRS and Internet Nobodies that long. But I got this used, so I'm not even the first owner of it. I don't know how old this device actually is. This is a first generation, though, so it might be a little on the older side. And by first generation, I mean it's a 1000 model. Obviously. Oh god. I mean, I'd say obviously. I don't know. Ah, shit. There it is. Okay, I'm missing one. That one was not unscrewed all the way. There we go. Cool. So let's see if it'll come apart now. It will not. Alright, so I do gotta take all the screws out. I was kinda hoping I didn't have to. Mystery port. Oh, Jesus. Uh, sorry, the bowl. It didn't show. So I've got a metal frame on my desk, so the bowl will uh, kind of slide itself into place. It scared me for a second. Okay, those are the tops. Don't want to strip the fucking head. Getting these back in is going to be interesting, to say the least. And those are the bottom. So left is bottom. Alright. So that's all the screws, I believe. Tops and bottoms. Oh, maybe I will need this. There we go. Oop. Missing something. Is there a screw in here? No. There's nothing down here, right? No. And I feel like it would have helped if I looked at like a guide, but I didn't. I am a strong, independent black woman. I don't need no man. Can you? Oh. Oh. I didn't realize <laughs> that the feedback was on. Hopefully the first part of this didn't sound just terrible. Okay, so what's this? I don't know what that is. Hmm. 
Okay. Time to look this up real quick. Okay, so I've got the right idea. I forgot about these. Come on. Oop. See, it's coming apart. No, maybe I shouldn't do that. No, I don't care about the fucking camera. Ooh, I know what I should do. No. That could have hurt. Oh, there we go. It's really uh, stuck on there, but once you get it, you get it. If you if you know what I mean, if you get it, you get it. It gets a little more action down here. Alright, it is a part. Real fucking gentle because there's a ribbon cable there that I don't want to fuck up right here. Okay. So basically exactly what I thought it'd be, just a little pluggy plug. It's held up down by something. Ooh, a couple screws. Okay, so the battery cable is what's providing the most difficulty here. I'm going to prop this with my flashlight. Okay. Alright, so a couple screws there and there. This was, this was it. Oh god. Okay. I, I am awfully worried about this ribbon cable. I gotta say, so that's the camera right there. I haven't pulled this apart yet. Got this stuff, the PCB for the membranes and everything. Like an L bracket here. Oh, this must be a heat sink. So this... I'm assuming this is probably like the CPU right here. And this... I'm not exactly sure what that might be. I don't know, maybe I'll look into it. It's not important. Come on. Come on, I fucking hate these screws. Like, they're so small, and this head almost seems a little too big. Oop, come on. That was just a little bracket. I guess I could shake the whole bracket. Yeah. So, battery should right out and it does ooh except what's going on down here are these just clips see what I'm saying just like these I feel like these are just clips I probably shouldn't touch that what is that? That's the analog stick. Yeah, I probably shouldn't touch that. I'll be I'll be better. Let's see. Okay, so this motherfucker 
that I'm watching, he uh, just completely disconnected this cable. I'm taking a chance. Woo! Oh, that's that scared me a little bit. <laughs> All right. I don't have a good way of getting this cable out because this here, this one here, directly connects to the battery. Ooh, that actually looks a lot better. I just, you know, it's not like this one matters, right? I just don't want to break it. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I don't know what sound that was. All right, so this is the front half of the Vita. Okay, I'll just set that over here. Okay, so now we're working only with the back half. So these, I wonder why these are set up like this. Because these, I'm holding it upside down, I think. Yeah. I. This and this are exactly where the analog sticks are. So I wonder, I wonder if they're necessary or if they're just a... Uh, little heat sink for but I can't imagine why it's not like they would generate any heat I don't, know, I don't know enough about electronics to even comment on that all right obviously as I'm using a guide to walk me through this video but I'm not trying to teach anything here I am just trying to do Okay, so this thing does just lift up. Eh. Oh, certainly not the right way to do this. And actually, that worked pretty well. Ooh, yeah, because it's just two little snap points here. Really hard to see. But like right here, that's a little snap point, and one right over here. Ooh, that other point is not coming up. What if I do it like that? Looks like it did a little bit. Ugh. I don't want to break anything. Whew. I did not like that sound. anything I, I say that but all right so yeah just a little bracket it looks like and this should just pop out right Ooh, it loops in on the bottom I think yeah all right we're halfway there this is the old battery Go ahead and pull out the new battery. Caution, don't be near magnets or whatever. Excellent. All right, so this is the new battery. So they're both, I'm assuming this is the model number. Sony 26W SP 654580A10S. And those are probably manufacturing numbers. All right, so Okay, so this is interesting, actually. The old one has a little, like, cover here. The new one does not. I don't think that's going to really cause any difference. Alright. So let's... Put this back in. Okay. 
really hope this lines up properly. Oh, I should have documented this. But that's alright. Uh, I will be fine. Okay, so that goes like that. Underneath this little channel here, that's where this goes. And this was held on where exactly? Here? Uh oh. I didn't think about that, but this is a little channel for the cable to sit. Oh, shit. I guess I should say now, this is not a guide. Like, I'm not a reliable resource for this. Okay, so the corner lines up right here. Snap one, and snap two and a half, maybe. That seems a hell of a lot looser than it was last time. You can hear it. That's all right. So let's put this back on. Goes like a little battery mount. Goes like that. Okay, it looks like that's lined up right. Got my screws right here. Exactly where magnetic tools would come in handy. Something like this. And honestly, I didn't need to do this. The battery on the Vita was okay. I uh, It just kept dying after like a day or two. From not a whole lot of use. Shit. Uh, from not a whole lot of use. So I want to alleviate that a little bit. Okay. This is not level. Why is this not level on here? Loosen this one maybe so I can get the other one in place. Oh shit. I uh, have a little holder there needed to go into. All right. So yeah, if you're doing this, there's a little thingy here. It goes into that. It doesn't just get screwed directly on. There's a little socket it needs to go into. Probably don't need to tighten that as tight as it was. That's okay. Oh, fucking God. Do I really need two screws in this? I feel like I can get away with just one. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Doing things the right way. The right way would have been looking into this ahead of time, so I knew exactly what I was doing. the fun in that there we go pops right back out I'd be pissed so let's get this hooked back up don't mind the kitty please she's already being bad okay so this goes in 
really easiest to tell on video. Does that go in? Okay, so that needs to go upside down. Which way? Probably this way. I'm just trying to not twist these so much. There we go. That should just pop right in. That came up. There we go. There we go. That wasn't so bad. I just had to line it up right. Okay, time to reconnect this ribbon cable, which should just pop on. Seems like it's connected. Alright. So that is it. A little anticlimactic. Get this lined up correctly. Ah, I see the issue. Shoulder button came up. This one here. There we go. That was easy enough to settle back in there. There's a little hinge. Oh, God. Alright, everything seems to be lined up. So just pop everything back in place. Excellent. I don't remember which screws were which. So I think these were the bottom. I don't think it matters. Yeah, those look fine. So I, either I was right that they don't matter or I was right in that these were the correct screws. Either way, I'm right. And I'll gladly take that. Tato, you better knock it off. You better be good. I know I'm not paying attention to you. But I am watching. Okay, so screw... Nope, I was wrong. I was wrong, because if you look, hard to tell, but the heads on the ones I put in the bottom are bigger, so they line up in the top. So I just got those mixed up, but the threading seems to be the same. Oh, shit. There we go. There we go. Yeah, the, the threading's the same, so it's not a huge difference, but if the heads don't line up, that's not a, that's no bueno. Really, do I even need these? the phone. Oh, don't you know. Actually, they're the exact same size, it looks like. Really hard to tell. Hmm. These, this one's a little more uh, tarnished looking. Really hard to tell. Get some of that reflection. 
So maybe the tarnished ones go on the bottom. So I was right in the first place. Ugh. You know what? I'll do the top ones first. How about that? Because those seem to be the ones I'm having a hard time figuring out. not lined up right? What's going on? It might not be lined up right. Oh no! Oh god! Okay, so let's make sure. Snap. Snap, snap, snap. Grab. Seems like it's lined up. Yes, these are the right screws because all the ones on the outer side of the shell are black and they're all the same. Why is this not going in? Just watch when I have the wrong holes. I might. All right. Yeah, I, I'm an, I'm an idiot. I'm uh, trying to get these into the big holes. The big holes don't do anything. Yeah, it's silly me for thinking to go in the big screw looking holes, right? There we go. In all fairness, I should have checked. I should have checked the little holes first. Or at least I should have checked them before I took the other ones out and checked the video. But, you live and learn, as my dear friend Sonic says. Live and learn! Pretty sure that's Sonic. Never been a huge Sonic fan. But I think that's like, what, Adventure? Adventure 2, one of those, one of those like trash rock ones. See, this wasn't so bad. I I was just a little worried because Vitas are expensive and I haven't done something like this in a while. But this was not so bad. I need to have more faith in myself. I'm not completely incompetent. I'm just mostly incompetent. Mostly tight, and then I'm gonna go around and do a full final tighten just to make sure everything is even. <laughs> Don't mind my scratches. 
And most of these are not from the cat. Work, uh, work really tears up my hands sometimes. Actually, I feel like these were from the cat. I'm not sure. Go through one more time. That one. Then I'll do this one. That's tight. Then I'll do this one. If I, if I can get the stupid hole. There we go. And then this one. Alright. That is done. I will put everything back in. You know, I always forget where the stupid Sony memory card is supposed to go. Because it's not something I ever really mess with. Oops, shit. There we go. And I'll talk about this probably when I do another Vita video. Let's Okay, came on. That's <laughs> Ooh, that's a that's a really good sign. Hello! Hi, I can see me. That looked terrible. Oh, probably have to redo all this because it got unplugged. So it's the 21st. I wonder how much this is going to date this video. This is, and this is sad. So it's really hard to see. 2015 is the default. 2022 at 8. At 32. I'll say 33 a.m. Okay, it's on. Uh, everything's accounted for. Uh, so it says I'm at 53% half battery. I feel like that's more accurate than it was, but I'd have no, I have no baseline. All right, I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, so it's about, yeah, honestly, about 12 hours later. I've gotten a full charge on this, and I've actually been uh, playing a few games on it, letting it discharge a little bit naturally. I, I even got some chores going. I let Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation here just run for a little bit. I played a little and just let it do its thing. As I deemed, it was, it's probably the most, like, power heavy game on here that that I have access to at the moment I might be wrong about that I uh, but seeing as it's an open world game with really a remarkable amount of detail it's a little hard to tell on camera obviously but I wanted to say I uh, so far I am at 78% there on the battery uh, and it, it, I mean, it still shows full. I don't remember when I got the percentage indicator. I think it was when I modded it. Uh, so I don't know which one's necessarily more accurate. However, if, oops, 77%, watch out. I, I've been on this for about an hour. Uh, at 77%, I can probably get probably four hours out of Assassin's Creed 3 liberation here which is way better than I was getting I got maybe an hour which wasn't terrible but for a handheld device uh, where you're gonna be taking it places and you're not gonna necessarily be charging it all the time that wasn't quite as good but at 77% I am more than happy with the results uh, it's making me somewhat realize that my old battery wasn't quite that bad but it was bad enough that uh, replacing it has 
been to my benefit. Yeah, I still even have all the tools everywhere. But yeah, so I mean that's that's it. That was I uh, that was replacing the battery on the PlayStation Vita. At some point, I want to uh, try to get my PSP working again, but I need to do a few things with it. Namely, it's my PSP. It's filthy. I haven't really cleaned it in a while. The main thing, the uh, the power switch, it's not working. There's no... Uh... Yeah, so namely, the power switch is not working. There's uh, something in there came dis became disconnected, so it's not actually attached to anything. It's supposed to slide up and then uh, spring back on its own. It doesn't do that. And another main thing, hello again. There's no battery in here. I took the battery out because it was uh, actually expanding and cracking. So I figured <laughs> just get rid of it uh, before it actually like, you know, pops and causes any issues. This thing looks terrible though. Cause like it had like an outer layer of paint, a little hard to tell. Uh, like a coating, necessarily, not necessarily paint, but I used it so much that I wore a lot of it off. This one doesn't really have it, I think because it's a standalone piece. No, it had it, it, yeah, it had it right down there. Yeah, I, I just used this thing so, so much back in high school. <laughs> uh, I kind of I kind of miss this thing. So I do want to get it running again, give it a good clean. At some point, though, uh, for the meantime, PlayStation Vita is a wonderful device, uh, especially once you modify it. I uh, then I've actually got a device on the way uh, called the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus. Uh, it's an Android-based, uh, essentially emulation-themed handheld, and I want to do videos on that, just like reviews and all that. But no. Yeah, no, this has been great. That will do it for me this time. I don't know when this is coming out. Hopefully I can edit this today because it'll be quick. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please let me know down below. Please let us know down below. I hope we can start making content again. <laughs> but the only person that's up to is us. Thanks so much. And we'll see you all next time.